It's me. Well, um, yeah, this is me. We're playing games, and we're joining by people. People is here. Who's here? Say name. Hello? Nobody's here, apparently. Um, cool. Hi, it's me, Crunchy McGee. Crunchy is this McG a server? Crunchy McGee's here, blowing out his mic. Also, Ooh. Um, I, I don't blow it, I crunch it. Also, Briggle, Briggle's back, Spixby is here as well. Hey, Briggle's Briggle, back. Briggle's back's back. Here. So anyways, we're here playing Terraria for the 10th week in a row. Uh, feels like it. I wasn't Please here last me. week because I went to Toronto. And, uh, yeah. Ian was here, he held down the fort, I tuned in. Uh, it looked horrible. Oh, you did? Yep. Did you really? I tuned in for a little bit. Do you know what I got up to? What'd you get up to? Um, here, I'll just show you. I'll come find okay. you. Um, you anyways, I'm gonna house? cut this over. No, I'm stuck in a hole. I actually don't know how to get out. I'm gonna oh cut my. this over to Terraria and... If anyone Ian. would like to join us, uh, there's the server IP right there. Uh, the port is seven 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 four seven. So... Anyways. Ian, what's up with you? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teleport away. I already joined the green team. Oh, how do I do that again? I have a gray gun. You hit escape, and then on the right hand side, you hit the green. And then how do I teleport to you? Um, I forgot how that happened. Something with the map. Anyways, I'm at the spawn house. I'm gonna come to you. Down in a hole. I can't get out. Hi. Hi. Whoa. Well, what do you have? Do you have a nail gun? No, oh, it's a murderous the undertaker. And I have this cool sword that does this. Do you need help? Yeah, I can't get out. Do you have any rope? Hmm. Maybe. No, I, I don't. I have any rope. Anyways, we're here playing uh, Terraria. Yeah, this is our server. Um, we were just discussing, this might be our final week of Terraria. Um, yeah, this game sucks. Yeah, we let people just join it. And I think that was a bad idea, even though they had a fun time. Honestly, I don't think that was. I think this game is just not good. I don't like the controls. Yeah, I really like this game. And why don't you use platform? I don't have platforms. Oh, I placed them wrong. What is going on with the cats? What do you mean my cats? I'm hearing cats. I hear cats too. Oh my god, what's going on? I have a cat sword. So last week, um, I just like buckled down and I beat Terraria. And then I got all this cool stuff because of it, so... Why can't I? I can't even place stuff. <laughs> How do I teleport? Let's see what's in... What does that do? Everything's blue now. I know. I don't, I, the problem is people built a lot of stuff, and I don't. You can't tell what any of it is. Yeah, it like doesn't give you a list, or like doesn't show you what it. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. I think we've been spoiled by Sky Factory. I think so. I'm going to look it up. What are you looking up? How to teleport. Okay. I'm going to um, fly into the distance. Uh, so how how you been, uh, Zach? Good. I was uh, I wasn't on the stream either because I was in Pennsylvania on a uh, video commercial shoot. Oh, that like sounds like things. fun. Yeah, I was in your time zone, and I still avoided playing with you. That's probably a good call. Probably mm. a good call. It's actually mm. a nice, cozy stream. Uh, we just had this guy join the server, and he said he is the greatest Terraria player. And then we just joined his servers, and he gave me a bunch of stuff. And then on his server, he did something that spawned every boss simultaneously. Ooh, that's pretty and good. Yeah, so we just kind of did that for a uh, good 15 minutes and then uh, the stream was over. It was great. Impressive. Yeah. Well, 
Whoa. Yeah, I think I'm just stuck in this hole forever. Do you need some rope? Yeah, do you, you have just any? just kill yourself. No. Just... Can you throw some down to me? I don't know how to throw a rope down. I have one rope coil. <laughs> oh, maybe I can throw that. Here, hold on. I'm coming. We're gonna, I'm going to save you, Will. No, open the door. Do you guys still hear the cats? No, I don't hear the cats. No, not really. I was just curious if it was uh, local or global audio. Ian, how far are you in control? Um, I just got the uh, the horse. Yeah, uh, same. Uh, oh, yeah, so I'm not that far. <clears throat> yeah, I, I've been playing every morning, and tomorrow I have a day off. Mm -hmm. So uh, I think I'm just going to play it a bunch and also edit. So I by, This is my timeline for my next week. By Wednesday, I need to have the latest episode of the server quest done. Which yeah, for people who don't quest. know, server quest is a game where we play old RPGs. Um, it's very fun. This latest episode, I don't know how great it'll be. It's mostly us experiencing it. I don't know how, how great it'll be for the audience. Uh, regardless, I have to get that done. I also have to write the first session of my new D&D &D group. Um, and then I also have to have my day job. So. You have a day my job? next week. Um, yeah, I've been playing it a little bit. Um, first of all, I don't like playing it during the daytime because I can't get my room dark enough to really appreciate it. It's a dark game. Um, it's all about mood. The other thing is, I don't think I like the combat. Maybe it's a little slow because oh, it's the really? beginning, but I don't think the combat is very good. I think the combat's really snappy and fast. I mean... It's a lot of just throwing but, objects at people and dodging. You're using a controller, right? Yeah. So let me ask you a question. The push-pull, what's the control for that? What's the, the uh, key, key binding? I think it's right bumper. Okay, that's not as bad. So on the PC, it is... It is the E button. That doesn't seem so you that press bad. And hold the E button. But the problem Wait, is... you hold the E button? Oh, I guess you yeah, do hold. Yeah, you have to hold it. So when you're holding it, you basically can't press... You can't strafe right because yeah, you can't press D. I don't like that. Yeah, the controller is yeah. much better. So basically, the only way I can do it now is I have to look in the general direction of somebody so that I'm close enough so that I can quickly grab something and use only the mouse to aim at them to get the lock on. Because if I do anything that requires me to press D after, I've lock after I have the object, it's not going to work. Yeah. It, that's, that's pretty bad. And it's, it seems like it's a little bit of just dumb enemies, but I think they are slowly getting smarter, and I think the horse, which Although, gives you like the active dodge, is yeah. pretty... That it's boss fight, the community or the boss fight that you don't, it's not actually a boss fight because you can't beat him, was really annoying. I died like the six first times. One? Yeah. Yeah, me too. I, I was not well done. Yeah, it, it also, I think the combat doesn't work well, also in part because the performance just starts taking really bad hits yeah, so in the middle of fights. I think I, I lucked out. So I'm playing on the 1X and I've, like, I've had maybe one instance of below 30 frames. Oh, 30. Yeah, yeah. see, I'm on, I'm on the PC, and it's, it's trying to keep 60, but it keeps dropping down to 30, which is very jarring. Yeah, I, don't, I, I have not experienced any unplayable scenarios in this life. Yeah. It's just, it, it, like, it doesn't get unplayable, but it's like you're in the middle of combat, and you're having to adjust for a variable frame rate, basically. Um, but I, I think, I, I think what's, I'm only pointing this out because I think the story and the lore and the world building is incredibly good. Yes. And the, it's just like Wolfenstein all over again. The combat just pales in comparison, and because of that, the combat feels like a chore. It feels like I'm only doing the combat just to get to the next story beat. Yeah. And I'm also that's, a, that's I'm a huge uh, Alan Wake fan. I never played it. It's it's one of my favorite games. I want them is to it remaster just, it. Here's what I think Alan Wake is. 
I think Alan Wake is a slow moving game where you have a flashlight and you're just walking through the woods, going in and out of cabins and trying to find batteries for your flashlight. It's more like it's pretty much control, but in a town in Maine. Is there still combat? Oh, yeah, there's a ton of combat. You have a gun, you have a flashlight. The flashlight, like, weakens enemies and you use the gun to finish them off. Okay. Yeah, it's it's one of my favorite games. Yeah, so maybe I should play that then. I was just always under the impression that it was just more of, like, a slow narrative game. No, it, it it's up there with, like, like a dead space or a stuff like that. Like it's it moves. It not it doesn't move like a like a Gears of War or something, but it's not it's not like alone in the dark where you're like going after things slowly. Yeah. I mean that sounds um, pretty good. Maybe I will yeah. try that. Control is wow. really good. I've been enjoying it. Yeah. I think in particular the presentation and how they unfold story elements and information that they withhold or reveal in very careful, controlled ways is great. Yeah. It's, it's I'm still great. not sure if that thing we discovered in our stream of the thing being named before we named it, was it... That matters? I don't know if that... Not that it matters, but if that was just... It happened to be that we got that file... Like, it was supposedly, like, you would have looked at that after you met her, so it would have made sense. I... I don't think so, because it's in the area leading to that. True. I also realize so, there's a bunch of files that just pop up, like that Hiss one. So I never picked it up. It just, yeah, it just is it, created. Yeah, it's when you when you uh, encounter the enemy. And I never realized. This giant um, castle. So the other thing I noticed, there is a, none. Of, I would con- not consider any of these spoilers because we're probably only what an hour and a half into the game. Yeah. Um, there are there was at least one document I found that had dates from September and October of 2019 in the document. Yeah, I, I realized as I was playing it because everything looks like it's from the 1960s, and then you got yes. those TVs that are like 90s ish, and then yes. I realized there's like laptops. They're not a laptop. No, no. They're... But will what I'm saying is there's a document with dates on it from the future oh i see what you're saying like september and october of this year and it's like it's like a log like a it's a visitor's log for that telephone i believe is where it was oh gotcha oh yeah Yeah. yeah, yeah. um oh that's crazy yeah yeah that game's real good i'm really enjoying it i'm looking forward to playing it a bunch tomorrow and avoiding responsibility What's tomorrow? Friday? Yeah, I got to go to work. This weekend is all about... Um, actually, I, I'm still not 100% certain, but basically my uh, sister's moving to Jacksonville. This is the weekend that they had everything packed and they're taking potentially two U-Hauls down and I was going to have to drive the second U-Haul for them and then fly back. But now there's a hurricane, so <laughs> they're, st- they're still going to try and drive down, but I probably can't drive with them but it's still not sure yet so there's like a 10 percent chance that i may have to go to florida this weekend and drive a u-haul through a hurricane and then try to somehow get my way back to maryland just catch a ride on the hurricane yeah well i'm pretty sure flights are going to be canceled so then i was thinking i'll just rent a car and drive it north until i find an airport with flights that's an idea oh i died Uh, how how do I get to you guys? Um, uh, I'm I'm far west, and I found yeah. a castle. I found and a I fortress. Was following him. No, I spawned down. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know if you can come with me because I was this is pretty. Rocking. I was about 300 feet behind you. No, my point is this is all like. I wouldn't even call this platforming. I'm only surviving because I have the wings. And Where the super weapon. I'm I'm coming to you. You want to run the other way? Yeah, sure, let's go. Um, Yeah, but Control's real good. So this weekend, I'm hoping to play more Control, but I also have a lot of video editing to do. How are you going so fast? Yeah, I do too. I'm going to just avoid that. So I've been doing... um, I've been doing literally every day when I get home from work or whatever, 
I do at least one hour of subpixel work. So I literally just have a timer and it has an hour on it and I try and do it all at once. And if I can't, then I just pause it and I just try and do at least an hour by the end of the day. And that's actually, that actually works pretty well. It's keeping me ahead of, ahead of my editing schedule. Yeah. I've been trying to do that in the mornings before yeah. I go to work. I have about an hour. I just get so bogged down with like, like I want to play a game or I want to watch something. Yeah, that's why the timer helps because it's like I know when the end of the timer is, then I have the rest of the day to myself if I want to do it that way. But honestly, by the time I'm halfway through the timer, I'm so into it that I end up putting in more than an hour. Oh, I was going to read off to you guys what games are also available on the server. Oh, for next next week? Because we got yeah. what? What did we decide? We have th four weeks? Yeah, we got four weeks till Spooktober. Yeah, that sounds right. So um, there is no... We were thinking Space Engineers, which we can still do, but there's no Space Engineers support on uh, the server I have purchased. We could do ARC. So yes, ARC is definitely choice, which... Um, let me read these off. But also George is very into ARC. So there's Seven Days to Die, which Zach and I have played extensively. Uh -huh. um, which is fairly fun. What is that? It's... Pretty much you're surviving in a zombie apocalypse and every seven days there's a giant horde of zombies. Oh, but how do you survive against the giant horde? Uh, you like build up uh, a fortress and stuff. That actually sounds uh, really good. Yeah, Is it it's good? Fun. It's fun. It's fun. It, it, it's been like a year or two since we played too, so I don't know how much. Yeah. Like, where did you get wings, Zach? Ian, how do, you, how do I fly with the wings? I'll hold down the space bar. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, uh, good luck. Um, so yeah, that's definitely a contender. I was almost thinking we do that. What's our plan for Spooktober? Is that taking over Thursdays? Uh, yeah, yeah, it could technically take over Tuesdays, but the only thing is Thursday is Halloween. Or Halloween is a Thursday. So. Okay, gotcha. So I was almost thinking we could do sp Spooky Sandbox and just do Seven Days to Die during October. What if we do both? So we would just turn Tuesdays into Spooktober and do Seven Days to Die in October? Yeah, oh, on, on Thursdays? Yeah. You think, yeah. Uh, you think four weeks is enough for that? Or th I actually, mean, I we could always five. extend it. Yeah. Um, wow. Zach, where did you find those? I just found them in a box. I'm going to go check. So there is Seven Days to Die. You know, that's a pretty good plan. Um... Next up, there's Ark, which I think is a strong contender. Yeah, because I'm not sure that I'm going to like it. I think it's going to be kind of like Terraria, where it's just, it may not work out. So yeah. I don't want to commit a long a My large amount. My former roommate, George, uh, is a huge fan of it. So uh, We could we try their try new pirate that? game, which is apparently hot garbage. Oh, really? Oh, a hundred yeah, but... But we're real good at hot garbage. Um, so next up is Arma 3. We could have an Arma 3 server. Uh, which would probably not be good at all. Man, okay. But guys, we should talk about this. Because I think... I don't know if you've seen any of... There's a huge custom scenario scene for Arma. Things like where you have multiple factions. And one of them are journalists. Who are taken hostage by the terrorist faction. And they have to be like negotiated as a hostage with the faction playing the military, the U S military. Just a future I series idea. If we got, if we got proficient enough in Arma to then explore those weird scenarios, that'd be pretty good. Yeah. Actually that's down the road though. Yeah. That's not, that's not, uh, there's also this guy just while I'm on the topic, I played a couple of them. He was taking, um, do you remember the, uh, I forget what it was called, but how, so Wikipedia got pretty, I mean, Wiki, WikiLeaks got big because they leaked Wikipedia. a bunch of Iraq war documents. Um, and some of the documents they leaked were after action reports from Iraq and Afghanistan. Oh. So this guy was taking after action reports and converting them into ARMA missions. Oh, cool. that's And then dope. publishing them. And th they weren't necessarily good in and of themselves, but it was like, you're on a mountaintop 
uh, and you start taking mortar fire and you have to locate where the mortar fire is and there's two enemies over there and then you have to take them out. And it's like, like that's it. But it's based off of and like geographically accurate to a real life mission, which is crazy. We could reenact the Bo Bergdahl. Uh, oh, yeah. Abandonment. Anyway, sorry, getting off topic there, but just some uh, Arma ideas. No, I like that. That's cool. That's a good idea. Okay, so there's Arma. That's pretty good. The next game is Avorion, which I've never heard of. <coughs> Excuse me. Ian, you were coughing in a way like I said something horrible by accident, and I was very I scared. I found a bewitching table. Zombies, get away from me. This fortress is, is huge, guys. Still in it? Can you guys see the map? I'm assuming it's a shared map. Uh, I don't I'm, think it I'm, is. I'm all the way on the west. I mean, I see how far down you are, but I oh, but can't you don't see anything see about anything it. At... Wow, I it's. I wish I could fly. Just I trying to find the bottom of the map. Here, well, I'm coming back to you and oh, let I forgot you I had a take double my wings. Jump. No, I don't use your wings. Red Bull gives you wings, though. True. So, Avorion, I have no idea what this game is. I'm going to Google it. Avorion. Oh, it looks like a deep space, like Eve sort of thing. Mm hmm. I see the Yama Yamato is there. Yamamoto? There's also the Battlestar Galactica. So, I'm assuming people are just modding stuff into this game. Okay. Looks really cool though. It's a sci-fi space sandbox. Oh, so like space engineers. Yeah, but it's like third person or not third person. Like I think you're the ship. It's second person. Really Aren't cool. all video games second person? Probably. Okay, next up is Conan Exiles. A game Zach oh, and I boy. also have extensive knowledge in. Extensive knowledge. We had so many slaves. Is that good? Oh. It was, we ended up cheating the end game because we just wanted to see what it was. Because yeah. in order to get to the end game, you needed to have every single person had to have these four items. So first we Ugh. were collecting them and we duplicated them just because yeah. we were all present. And then the like final item or something didn't save or didn't drop. So we just were like, screw it. So we gave ourselves invulnerability and went to all the final boss stuff. Which was kind of lame at the time because it was, it had just come out and it was still, I think it was still technically oh, early access. It didn't have enough. Yeah, so it was still. Aside from that, like building your fortress and then like going to villages and knocking people unconscious and dragging them back to oh your house, goodness. making them slaves. Oh my God. Like you can have them. I I just had a bunch of topless women around my throne <laughs> that I just sat on. This sounded great until that. This sounds like not appropriate for no, oh, no, you can you can remove the nudity. Yeah, you can what? take the nudity but I don't, off. But I don't want. There's also a huge <sighs> you can make your schlong as big as you want. Oh, I do uh, remember seeing something about that. It was crazy. Uh I will say I had the topless women in a joking manner. It wasn't creepy manner well i guess it was creepy yeah, it was really ha ha funny for us too yeah. <laughs> it was weird especially after the lawsuit um yeah. so that game's fun i actually do i would love to see what it's at now because it was early enough where we were like oh this is the timings to go get like to go buy stuff and also it's a it's not a randomized map too oh that's pretty interesting yeah Okay, so next is CSGO. You guys want to play Counter-Strike? Oh, man. I do love some Counter-Strike, but I didn't. I haven't gotten into Go. Anyways, not for Sandbox. Uh, yeah, obviously. Obviously, Ian. Be stupid. God. Jeez, uh, man. What else we got? Uh, next type is... Next, next type. Uh, do, don't Starve Together. I'm not really looking to play that. Uh, I didn't really like that game. Um, after that is Eco. Not, not the, uh, Ico, not Ico as in, actually this is pronounced Eco, isn't it? Is it Echo? 
It look maybe it's spelled it's E C O, so probably Echo, right? I was thinking I mean, eco like ecology. But n I didn't mean eco as in the game before Shadow of Colossus. Oh. Wait, or isn't that is that the game after? I don't know. That doesn't matter. No, yeah, not before. not that one. Um, so this is it just kinda looks like a realistic Minecraft. I died. Oh, that actually sounds uh that sounds awful in a good way. Uh, I realize I should be messaging these. No one's watching the stream, so I don't have to worry about it. No. I should go play Space Engineers right now. Zach is unhealthily obsessed. I just... I might I might start playing again with Josh, because we've put so many hours into it. Yeah, you guys played a I'm lot excited. without me. I wasn't into it at all. Yeah, I, I think because you, you didn't start at the beginning. When you jumped in, we were working on stuff that was a little too high level for what you wanted to be doing at the time. P-Brain? Yeah. Okay, so I, I sent a thing of eco. I don't know. It looks weird and, and kind of cool at the same time. Anyways, oh, you know what would be a good game? Oh, is uh, I found, I found Hell. Found Factory eventually. Yeah, it, I can't remember if multiplayer is supported off the bat or not. I think so. I'd be willing to do that. Uh, so that's in the back pocket. Next up, uh, well, Factorio, Skip, Gary's Mod, Insurgency Sandstorm. I've never played that. I don't know what it is. Uh, the first one is fantastic. Um, but it's an FPS. Gotcha. Uh, Killing Floor, nah. Left 4 Dead, nah. Left 4 Dead 2, nah. Minecraft, no. Uh, there's Let's a just go back Rust. To Minecraft. Rust is, um, it's kind of like DayZ, but no zombies. Yeah. It's by the oh, guy who made Gary's mod. Forgot about that. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Could do we should Day do Z, that. Yeah. Our buddy wanted to play that. We I played that so much. So there's much. A, there's a guide voodoo doll that I have? Creepy. Oh, that's, that is weird. Um, Rust Spoxel? I don't know what that is. Starbound. You said Rust Foxel? Probably just no. Rust, but in, no, but in no. a Minecraft aesthetic. No, I didn't say that. There was Rust. Next is Spoxel, S-P-O-X-E-L. Oh. Then Starbound, then Staxel, S-T-A-X-E-L. Are we sure these are the only games they, they allow? Like, you can't custom uh, These are like the, the in instances they allow. Oh, like the quick switches. Yeah, but, but I, I wonder if we could just run Space Engineers. Well, uh, Zach, how long, how much time do you think we need for Space Engineers? Oh, man, like I was kind of writing it out on paper on on what we could do in seven episodes, mm -hmm. and like I don't even know if getting to space is something we can do in seven episodes. Okay, but we so. do have a, a very solid vote for Ark from Sir Rowland. Maybe it Ooh. is time to do Ark. Thank you, Sir Rowland. Yeah, we can switch to Ark. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I Good have stuff. it on. Uh, it's free on Game Pass, and I have PC Game Pass. So. Oh, huh. is it free? Is it free on PC Game Pass? I'm pretty sure I could check right now. I should probably come home. I'm under the world. I'm at the bottom. I thought you died. Didn't you? No, no, I'm still alive. I'm in hell, basically. Right app. Whoa. Here's Game Pass. There's a lot of good games on this Game Pass. Yeah, Game Pass is real good. Oh, it's only five bucks a month right now? Yes. Yes. I yes, might yes. do that just to get access to Ark. You know what else I did? Um, uh, let me check, make sure it's on there. I like I said I wouldn't subscribe to this, but the deal was too good. I subscribed to three years of Disney Plus. Ooh. Oh, where'd you see a deal for that? It's basically you join their Disney fan club called D23, which is for free. And then you get access to a discount, which basically makes it three years for four dollars a month. And at that, I was like, yeah, I can see. Four dollars is fine because I'm also a cable cutter, so it's one of those where I'm like trying to collect cheap services. So four bucks a month for all that they're going to offer, I'm like, okay, yeah, that's fine. 
Whoa. That seems legit. Oh, I hit the end of the map. I have now traversed the map. So Ark yeah. Survival Evolved is, yeah, it's on uh, that's, Game Pass. That's, that's the normal one. Yeah, let's do that. I'd be up for that. Okay, let's all log off, install it right now, and we'll pop back in. Yep. Sweet. So next week, Ark Survival. Look out for it, everybody. Next be... uh, thir Thursday day, right? Next Thursday day. Tis I, the next Thursday, Thursday day. I'm thirsty, Pop Pop. Feed me. Whee! Oh, there's a minecart. There's a minecart track under the map. What? I died. Good. Okay. I'm just trying to make my way back up because daddy lonely. Tonight's launcher is uh, Icelandic alcohol. Oh, yeah. I finally like been digging it more heavily into the Icelandic candy. Some of it is disgusting. Yeah, it's a strange assortment. Yeah, that licorice. It's not even like good licorice. It's just like bad licorice. Hi, DNA Sanity. You can absolutely join. Uh, Will, do you have the IP up? Yeah, it is uh, in the corner. In the corner yeah. of my screen. DNA Sanity, one. two rules. Uh, keep it keep it PG-13, so no like uh, profanity in the chat well, um, or crazy phallic structures. And number two, this is the last night of the server, so go crazy, whatever you want. If you want to bring in a high level character and just do insanity, uh, I would actually encourage oh, it. Let me go put it in a chest. Oh, no, no. I, I would, Sorry, I was full up. Oh, I'll take that. Where do I put them? Uh, put them all the way over <laughs> in the green accessories. Yeah. Oh, I... oh did you get did you get wings? Oh, we go so high. It's great, isn't it? DNA's on the server. What's up? Okay, I'm getting closer and closer to the top of the map. How do I go? It asked me to go into orbit. Wait, you can go into orbit? I don't know. When I floated over here, it said go into orbit. It's, uh, you got an achievement. Oh, I got an achievement. Thank you. Loser. Really didn't look like an achievement. Wow, I found a mine shaft. I find a mine shaft. I find mine shaft. A mine. A mine. Tis I. A I mine shaft. Out. Give us a royal welcome. I need to watch the Lord of the Rings movies again. I agree. You hey, should come out. We'll watch them. Since we're since I'm being real sassy tonight, um, I don't I don't think the Lord of the Rings movies are good. Oh god, what's wrong with the you? books? The books are great. I really enjoyed the books. I don't think the movies are good. I think the movies are very good. I will. Okay, this is something we can agree on though. Have you seen the extended edition and the color change they did from yeah, the extended Blu-rays? Oh, it's it's awful. It it's very terrible. atrocious. Yeah, I feel like if I were to rewatch the Lord of the Rings movies, I would deliberately watch the theatrical edition if I could find them because it's I it's not it's only the, the Blu-rays. It's not the extent all the extent. Oh, it's well then wait, but then how would I get HD extended without it? Uh, I think it, it was only like the Blu-ray collection. I think you can still get the original separately. Yeah, it was only a specific thing. Still terrible. Yeah, it's real rough. Um. Hey, give me a second. I'll I'll be right back. Bye. Yeah, Lord of the Rings is good. I've been meaning to. Hmm. Uh, what did I watch? Oh, I watched Get Smart the other day. That movie's good. Oh, the Steve Carell one? Yeah. I forgot The Rock was I've, in it. I don't think I've ever seen that. Really? Yeah. 
it's a really good just funny movie like it's still hokey funny but it's still i don't know i very much enjoy it i'll have to check it out you can just teleport it in. so he knows how to teleport i think it's just on the map screen you can just click on him but you need i don't know why item. it wasn't working earlier i got a clock when i looked up, Actually, you know up it said you need an item Maybe I already have it. I'm going to teleport home. Or maybe both of you need the item. So if you keep going down there, there's it's hell. How do I? I'm, I'm clicking on you guys. Well, if being... if you can do it, it says teleport too. Oh, yeah. I don't know why. I'm not oh, sure. I got slain. Those oh, are for death was answered. OK, good. Okay. So Anya. definitely arc next week. Very excited for that. Yeah, I'm actually genuinely. I'm gonna go start playing right now. Yeah. <laughs> is right. I'm trying to remember? No, the only thing I know about arc is what I saw on the Giant Bomb stream. Giant yeah, Bomb I know that, Nicholas. and I've watched a couple episodes of either Funhouse or uh, Achievement Hunter play it. Mm -hmm. Don't know which one. I'm having so much fun flying. It's just yeah, me feels too. Good. Oh yeah. Um. So Ark, we should also look up. Uh, you know what? Since since you're streaming, I'll I'll look it up. Well, uh, let me get home and save. Thank you. And then I'll look up and just kind of see what our server options are. For Arc? I. Yeah, I do think we should err on the side of a community server if possible. I think it's. I think it encourages a community. Hey. Yeah, we can look into it. Okay, here we go. Tis I safe at home. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Look it up. Here we go. Dark food. How'd you find a shark? Ark. Oh, I drowned. Oh, that makes. I'm draining a cloud right now. You said draining a cloud? Yeah. Is that a euphemism for going to the bathroom? No, I went to a cloud and it was full of water. And uh -huh. I dug down so it would empty. But not oh. a bad euphemism for uh, going to the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, um, so there's dinosaurs in Ark. That's what I found out so far. You didn't know that? I did. Ooh, I can get one month of uh, Xbox Game Pass for a dollar. Yeah, oh, yeah, that first month. deal's still around. A deal is yeah. still around. A deal is still around. Can I fly and... once I'm underwater? A deal is still around. And... Tis I the deal? Tis still around? There's underwater chest. Hi. Tis I. I'm still around. I hate you so much. Hello, my name is Logan, and I thought it would be fun to express my opinion on ARC multiplayer and see what others think on the matter. Sorry, I'm reading a guide on Steam. Hey, DNA Sanity. Yeah, the IP should be in the uh, little description if you want to join. Think, I think he already joined. Yeah, he oh, already did joined. He? Oh, I'm so sorry. I, I saw the Sir Roland and thought that that was the guy that had joined. But then I'm, I'm just, I can't read today. It's okay. Yes, I think to start out with, let's just do a solo server. See how we feel about it. I kind of like the idea of if things are moving too slowly, 
or if there's a clamor for it in the community, or if we feel like we're not really enjoying the game, but we still need to stream it at least once or twice, then we open it up to the community and just let have it. Yeah, rain. I mean, Ark is Ark would be different. It's the same with Minecraft. If there were different like spawn points, like with Terraria, we were all kind of in the same spot, so it was like everything got done so quickly. Versus if we were playing like DayZ. Like, a couple of community members might have a group one place, and we'll have a group in another place. Yeah, like, you have room to spread out. there, And there isn't really a progression system, necessarily. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Or at least one that's not overwhelming, like Terraria. Oh, yeah, I'm not sure. Because I, I do like the idea of having a community. Like I, like, I think Minecraft is a great example. Like, everybody's built their own little house, and you're running around having fun. What the... Oi. 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 Oh, it says I should have four gigabytes for an ARC server. Yeah, we'll see about that. Oh, are you trying to turn the server on now? No, I was just setting up the instant. Oh, okay. I don't have ARC installed, but I'll probably do it. Actually, how big is it? Hey, we should turn on cheats. I'm going to look up Terraria cheats. We should finish this... Uh... Terraria out proper. Oh, approximate size, 93.82 gigabytes. For what? For ARC. To install or run? To install. Oh, but that's, that's fine. That's just... I'm glad we're playing it now because it, if I remember correctly, it's one of those games that had a lot of promise, but it was just like horribly unoptimized. And it sounds like they finally got that under control. Got you under control. Got him. Bam. That Ian Gibson. Um, I'm just trying to, are there, there's crazy server commands. Uh, let me check. I'm just trying to like blow this server up while we're finishing it, you know? Change at the time of day. Oh, heck nope, yeah. that didn't work. DNA found the other uh, cat sword. Good for him. Whoa, he is a god. <laughs> Why? What'd you do? He saw me resplendent in my armor. So the guy last week told me that my hair changes ah. color depending on how much health I have left. So that way I don't have to look at my... Um, I don't have to look at my uh, health bar. That's smart. Isn't that cool? That's super sweet. Hi, hi, it's um me. Okay, here we go. I'm looking it up. There. Okay, you have to install T T Shock on the server, and then that lets you spawn a whole bunch of stuff and lets you spawn items. That doesn't sound like it's worth it, though, honestly. Um, what, what if we just, what, guys, what if, guys, what if we just end this stream early? Thank you, everyone, for joining me and Ian and Zach <laughs> playing this game tonight. Sorry for the lackluster ending. We just, you know, we're all tired and Terraria sucks. You know, I've been saying that a lot, but I, I do want to at least 
pull back a little bit and say maybe Terraria wasn't a good pick for Sandbox. I'm going to say that. I'm also going to say Terraria sucks as a server multiplayer game. I uh, The times I played Terraria by myself were very fun because I'm a loner. Anyways, I believe you. if you joined our stream, thank you for joining. You know, I'm going to go full screen here. Oh, oh God, I almost threw up. Oh, sorry. Thank you for joining our stream. Um, I'm Will Hunt 270 on Twitter. Ian is Ian. He's Think Gibson on Twitter. Zach is Zach. He's also Zach Attack on Twitter. We're Subpixel. Uh, check out our YouTube. Check out our Twitter. Check out our Twitch, I mean, and our Mixer. Thank you for watching. Please follow, like, subscribe, smash that bell so you know when we have a new video come out. Ian, if you could suggest one video for them to watch on our YouTube right now, what would you suggest? I would recommend episode zero of server quest it came out last wednesday we explore True. everquest in particular project 1999 which is a mod that tries to restore everquest back to its original state uh it's part of our new series where we go through the history of mmos uh i think it was a, a very good video and a promise of a lot more good content to come in a brand new series yeah it was super fun we figured it out that's the episode of us figuring out what server quest will be and also yeah. maybe naming it no it took us a while Anyways, um, yeah, thank you for joining, Zach. Um, I don't know. I don't care about you. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what, what... You have nothing to plug. You don't do anything. Oh, how's no. Pie Hole? Is Pie Hole good? Pie Hole is amazing. Uh, okay, it took real me, quick. Yeah, what is Pie Hole? Uh, it's basically a, a network-wide ad blocker. So I have it on a Raspberry oh. Pi set up. It literally took me 30 minutes to set up. I have to say... I was going to do it, and then Linus Tech Tips, who's just such a weird but oddly obsessive YouTube channel that I watch, uh, he did a whole video how to get how to install it. So I did it 30 minutes, installed, no ads. Everything's blocked. You get to watch all the ads get blocked on your uh, when you look at the admin panel, and it's wow. amazing. That's, That's awesome. crazy. Yeah, I've been yeah. meaning to do that for a while. I just got this Raspberry Pi 4 that you can all see here. Came in this nifty case. Uh, I got the desktop version, so it came with like uh, a keyboard and a mouse and everything. Um, oh, that's nice. And two HD mini HDMI cables. Anyways, we're Subpixel. Check us out. Thank you for joining us, everybody. And like I say after every show, make sure you drink all the bleach. Yep. And hey, we'll see you on Tuesday at 10 p.m. Eastern for our next stream. Yes, Tuesday, 10 p.m. Eastern. Our next stream, we'll be streaming a game. Bye-bye.